Shi'an Sunni scholars from over 100 countries are attending the two-day event to discuss the issue of unity among Islamic Ummah and the existing problems of the Muslim world. During the first day, the speakers highlighted the need for enhancing unity among Muslims. Addressing the conference, Iran's President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad called on Muslim nations to establish monotheism and justice. Putting an end to the Zionism in the world is one of the goals behind forging unity among Muslims. Unity without monotheism, justice and love for all humans is useless. But true unity will be achieved only if the Islamic Ummah follow a perfect leader and what a better leader than the Prophet of Islam and his divine teachings. Muslim scholars believe that there are abundant commonalities among Muslims, but the enemies of Islam, who have many differences internally, are trying to work out unity amongst themselves and create sectarian and ethnic rifts among Muslims in different countries, including Syria. The enemies are trying to divide Syria like what they did in other countries. They seek to establish a Jewish government in Palestine, but we believe in a government which believes in human values and beliefs. In their speeches, the participants cautioned that enemies are exercising various plots and that the Muslim societies should be aware of such threats. The conference comes at a time when in the past couple of months Muslim sanctities have been desecrated, but the participants believe such sacrilegious acts have further strengthened unity among Muslims. A few months ago, the U.S.-Israeli production of an anti-Islam movie triggered the anger of Muslims across the globe. This was followed by the publication of a blasphemous cartoon insulting Prophet Muhammad in France. I feel that uh, now it's the time that uh, Muslim Ummah, they must be united together. We should uh, play a pivotal and important role to address all those challenges that the Muslim Ummah is facing. Islam talks about equal opportunities and there is no gender discrimination. The conference is also taking place as the Muslims worldwide are celebrating the Unity Week, which marks the birth anniversary of Prophet Muhammad, the last divine messenger to mankind. Salman Kujuri, Press TV, Tehran.